We're in, we grab the briefcase, we go out. He's not gonna wake up, but just get what we came for. Hey guys! I got it! Okay, well, let's go! Hey, what the? What the hell was that? Well, gentlemen, we may have pulled off the biggest heist in history. Hold on, what makes this so big? We broke into one house and stole a briefcase. That's what's inside the briefcase. What we got, gold? Well, nobody really knows. What do you mean nobody really knows? It's a damn briefcase! Exactly. A long time ago, and I mean a long damn time ago, this Long to the government. So it was stolen then. Then it was off the grid 40 some years. So we're possibly the first people to try to open this in over 40 years. Well, possibly. Came up in a small town in Montana about 10 years ago, but now. Why didn't somebody just take a crowbar to this thing? We don't want to destroy what's inside. Well, so we just robbed a guy for some useless briefcase? Useless! This thing is anything but useless! Of course it's useless! We can't even open the damn thing! Do you know how many people are trying to get this briefcase? Hundreds, thousands, even more. Well, let's just bust the damn thing open. If we open up now, we will have the FBI crawling up our asses. Well, what do you propose? I propose we sit on it, we don't touch it till we know how to open it. Could be money, could be diamonds, could be nuclear, we don't know. What the hell makes you think it's nuclear? You ever heard what happened July 20th, 1944? Gentlemen, take a seat. James, this is Mr. O'Connor. Mr. O'Connor, this is James. That's me. Take a seat. Now, gentlemen, I'm sure you know why you're here, Mr. James. Do you know why you're here? No idea. Reagan here didn't tell you why he suddenly brought you here. No, what, Jack? No, no. It's okay, Reagan. We'll know in a moment. Now, James. I cannot tell you why I brought you here unless you agree to cooperate with what I'm doing. Yes, uh, yes sir, I will cooperate. Excellent. Alright, now, Jack, is it really necessary that we get into this sort of thing? I mean, you just met this guy. Look, if we don't go over this now, we're wasting a whole hell of a lot of energy and more time. Jack, listen to me. You sir, listen to me. You have a seat where you can find yourself unemployed. And in my book, unemployed means six feet deep. So while you calmly take your seat, you tell me which one that'll be. Look, sir, I don't, with all due respect, I don't know if I'm cut out for whatever it is you Look, James, you're special. And when I mean special, we picked you. All right, back to business. Okay. Good wall. Jack, you know what you see here? In the end, you, you, you're just gonna get this guy killed. Better end than I, right? Now, to be honest, if you want this job to be done right, you're gonna have to do it yourself. You think I could just do this alone? Well, it's not what I said. 
I mean, I can help you. If you call up Ryan, we three can do what we do best. Look, Greg, I appreciate it, but there comes a point when you just have people do the dirty job for you. I'm not in this until you make the call or he's better at what we're trying to accomplish here. I'm not gonna Yeah? James, this is Jack O'Connor. Jack, what can I do for you? I just, uh... Well, I just wanted to know if you're, uh, if you're 100% okay with, uh, with what we're doing here. Oh, yes, sir. 100%. Good, good. Well, uh, we'll go over, um, the schematics later. Sounds good. Hey, Mr. O'Connor. What? I'm sorry about your father. How do you know about- Obituaries, look. Listen, I'm gonna be in Golden Valley tomorrow. Why don't you meet me on the overview? You're late. If I didn't need you, I'd kill you. Why am I here, James? I mean business, O'Connor. And that business is getting this briefcase in the right hand. I don't see what you're getting at. What I mean is there's only one way to get through to these guys. Yeah? What is that? You need a third man. How do you know all that? I've done my research. I know my shit. I have How much experience? More than enough experience. He and I had all sorts of scores a long time ago. How big? If this truly is what you say it is, nothing this big. You'll be able to handle it? He can handle it if you work with him. I can work with anything. I'll contact him and we'll be in touch. You said we need a third man? Let's go get Ryan. I have a new guy. Who? Tom Brooks. Who? Tom. He's a small time guy. Well, we were all at one point, weren't we? You told me to get Ryan! Look how that's going. This is my score! My operation! Now you're some small time ring to blow it to hell! Oh, come on, Jack. Ryan wouldn't have done shit for us anyways. He ditched us. That was his call. So now you're just gonna give up on him? What about when we broke into this place? Oh, don't bring that BS up. What do you mean, don't bring it up? It's exactly what I'm talking about. You cut your side wide open on some glass, we think you're gonna bleed out. Yeah? You know what? You left me to die. You left me to bleed out. Ryan came back for me because he cared. Alright? We used to be a team here, but you've always been in it for the money. What are you doing with me this whole time, huh? I should do this a long time ago. <laughs> We're getting Ryan! This is my damn score! Uh, if you can't find him. Sir, uh, I know what I'm doing. I want this point. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm gonna get the- The hell was that? Ryan. Not Tom. Okay, you said you know where it is. Where is it? Westfield. Westfield, Colorado? You got it. How'd you find it? A guy. Back here he is now. Mr. James Ryan, Ryan, Mr. James, please have a seat. Okay, so what were you saying before? Our friend James here knows all about these guys. How? Huh. They used to work out of Fremont, California. That's where I'm from. So what are they doing in Westfield? Well, they got caught, made a run for it, ended up there, I guess. But how'd you find them there? I, I have my people. Okay, so. Westfield's about 40 miles from Denver, 7 or 40 miles away, 8 hours. So we drive and fly. Well, there's no way we're going to be able to get through air airport security with that thing, so we're going to have to drive. We're going to need a good car. I got it. Hey, Jack. Brian's out. What do you mean he's out? He bailed. It's okay. We'll be fine. We have James. We're professionals. We'll get the job done. I trust in you. Get it done. Let's go.
believe we can make a deal for this briefcase. For the right price. Of course. I think we can do that. So, how much are you looking for? Now, gentlemen, I think we all can agree that this briefcase has been through a lot of hands. Now it's been hunted by many others, including our government. All right, so go over the plan one more time. So we go there, break in, try to find the, the briefcase, and we take out any targets if necessary. So you're telling me you're gonna jack up the price because it's the most wanted thing in the world? No, no, sir. We are asking for a high price because we know what you will do with it. Okay, what might that be? Let's go. Reagan! Reagan! <clears throat> Gentlemen, let's get back to business. Sucks. I brought you in and trusted you. <laughs> it doesn't have to be this way. Yeah, why not? I killed your father. <laughs> <laughs> 